back in the kitchen with Chef Trixie, the queen of desserts, and today she's making cruffins, which is a nice mixture or a hybrid between croissants and muffins. So what we're doing is we're cutting up a chocolate bar, chocolate bar of your choice, and we're placing them into a raw croissant pastry. And then we're rolling them up nicely. Don't forget to tuck them underneath. And once you've done that, place them into the baking tray, which is already prepared with baking paper. So there we go. We've done the first cruffin ready for baking. Let's do the next one. We'll use the same chocolate bar for this one. We will add in a few more slices of our chocolate bar, cut one or two more, make this one really decadent, rich and sweet. Squeeze them down, roll them up, make it nice and firm so that the chocolate can stay inside when it gets baked. So you tuck it underneath and you pop it into the baking tray next to his friend and we're ready to move on. Okay, we're gonna mix things up a little bit still use the croissant pastry whoops before we do that she's going to pop a little piece of her chocolate bar on top of each of the prepared cruffins this is for identification purposes one doesn't want to get lost in terms of what is inside what okay for the third one we're going to use a lovely biscoff paste and you'll see that she's going to really spread this on don't be shy with your biscoff it's nice and sweet and tasty We'll roll it up again and we'll pop that once again into the baking tray. Great motion here. You don't have to worry about a croissant shape. These are not croissants, these are cruffins. So to get the muffin part, you want to make it the shape of a muffin and bake it like a muffin. Chef Trixie, the queen of the desserts, will now prepare the second Biscoff cruffin. Once again, we'll smear on the Biscoff paste, nice and generous. And once again, we will do the familiar roll-up of the cruffin. Nice and tight, tuck it in underneath and we can pop it into its special place ready to be baked. Okay, for the last two we're going to use a Snickers bar. Now as Chef Trixie says, who doesn't like Snickers? Well, we'd like them if we could get the paper open, but I think that will eventually happen. Yep, here it comes. One, two, three, there it is. Right, we'll slice that up, nice thick chunky pieces. Try not to eat the Snickers bar before you've used it in the cooking. That would cause some problems given that you wouldn't have any more Snickers to pop inside your croissant pastry. All right, look at that, decadent and sweet and tasty. Roll it up and now you have the Snickers bar cruffin ready. Okay, as you can see, we're going to do one last cruffin with our remaining Snickers bar. Chef Trixie won't eat this. She will not cheat. She will pop these last few remaining pieces into her cruffin and she will roll those up nice and firmly and in it goes. Now, you're going to bake these cruffins at 165 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes. So there they are already, a little bit of Snickers bar on top of the last two and we'll put them in the oven. All right, we're all baked up. Let's have a look at them inside. Look at that, nice and fluffy like a croissant, but shaped like a muffin, hence the name Cruffins, and really sweet and decadent inside. As you can see, each one inside is slightly different, but they're all going to taste delicious. Remember, we've baked these at 165 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes, and they're looking perfect. Really nice and light and fluffy, with a beautifully soft, delectable, delicious, decadent, sweet center. So, now that you've seen what they look like inside, and now that your mouth is watering, let's arrange these to present to your guests. So we put them on a nice board, unpretentious, some lovely fruit to show that we also have our health concerns at heart, and a few berries with some strawberries. You can place a couple of the berries on top of the cruffins, give them that really good country style feeling. And what have you here? A cruffin board for any occasion. 